It definitely has been uh, definitely a soggy, super soggy spring for millions of Americans. Uh, if you need a boat, and perhaps even some waders to get around your backyard after a heavy downpour, you need some help about that. Our guest has five tips to cure a swampy yard uh, through uh, no plan is 100% uh, goof proof. Mm -hmm. Well, Matthew Bertrand is a landscape designer who works with the nonprofit Friends of the Rouge. The organization restores and protects the Rouge River uh, watershed in southeast Michigan. And Matthew is also a, a member of the American Society of Landscape Architects. Thanks so much for joining us, Matthew. Now, you say plant rain gardens. What is a rain garden and what does one do? Sure, and good morning. A rain garden is a garden that looks great and it solves problems. It soaks up all that rainwater. So what you do is you figure out where the water's coming from, the hard surfaces, your roof, your driveway, your garage, you look in your backyard, pick the places you want to be dry and plant those rain gardens around it to soak up that rain. So people who often have kind of floods or river or water running through the backyard, is there anything they can do to kind of uh, build kind of anti-flood backyards? Yeah, well, so you there's great new technologies that can help with that water runoff. Those hard surfaces are the problem. So you can actually build new hard surfaces that let the water soak through rather than running off. So driveways that soak up the rain, roofs that soak up the rain, there's rain barrels, or you can just plant trees, the original anti-flood technology. Oh, so you kind of mentioned something natural. Like they, the trees, for example, would they be natural buffers that can help? Yeah, trees are a part of a natural buffer. So especially people that live next to rivers and lakes, you know, they often have turf grass right up to the edge, and the grass just doesn't really do much about that flooding, and it potentially risks erosion into the creek. So if you can have natural native plants 15 feet back, they'll help soak up that water, and they'll attract frogs, birds, and dragonflies that eat the mosquitoes that come with the water. Yeah. Mm, I like Excuse that. Us. Yes. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not just your problem. You can see perhaps new commercial or residential developments or road construction near your neighborhood can really have an impact on uh, how your uh, backyard floods too, right? Yep, absolutely. Anytime anyone puts new hard services upstream from your house, that's a risk for you. Here in Southeast Michigan, we're seeing neighbors expanding their houses to fill lots and then all that hard surface floods out their other neighbors. That's a big problem. And uh, you recommend a homeowner make peace with their wet environment. Uh, explain to us, what, what do you mean by that? Well, some people have their homes built on wetlands, and so there's just really nothing you can do at that point uh, to get rid of the water. So it's really going to be design your yard, as we just discussed, as best you can. And then during the wet season, you know, make sure your property is safe but you know, accept some wetness, unfortunately. Well, like complaining mm -hmm. of a hurricane when you build a house on the beach. All right, thanks. Yeah. That's landscape designer Matthew Bertrand this morning. Great tips. Yeah, seriously, very interesting, especially with a way to keep away those uh, mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah.